you know, be embroidery, when you go beyond the basics and you do an in the hoop project or some embroidery applique, you can get some pretty spectacular results. I'm Kathy. We're going to take the baby lock Vesta and do an in the hoop project and some embroidery applique and make something pretty fun. I'm Kathy and this is Sewing Tech Talk. Kathy, so it's been such a fun week using the secret ingredient and also the baby log Vesta machine. So let me show you what I created hot off the press. I haven't even taken it out of the hoop yet. So this is a tea towel that I worked up using the baby lock Vesta and also the file by Janine Babbage. The secret ingredient, isn't that sweet? Can't wait to decide if I'm going to give it away or if I'm going to keep it and use it in my kitchen. Either way, so much fun. And I wanted to show you a couple other things that we had as samples on my episode. So we have, isn't this ingenious? It is a cookbook cover using Janine Babich's designs from The Secret Ingredient. So take your favorite cookbook, make a cover. Isn't that sweet? It even has these fun tassels. Oh my gosh, so creative people are. And then here's another different sample with a little bit more subtle colors and I love the use of the purple and the pink with this towel. So many things you can do with the Baby Log Vesta and also the secret ingredient. I hope your show and I, I can't wait to see everything else that you do. Back to you Kathy with Sewing Tech Talk. We have a giveaway for today's video. It's a great pack of embroidery thread. So every time you like, share, or comment, you're entered for a chance to win a great pack of embroidery thread. So good luck and subscribe while you're there. So you can do a lot of different designs on an embroidery machine. It's not just a logo on the chest or little duckies or whatever. It's not just a single design. What's happened is in the world of embroidery, there are tons of different things that you can do with an embroidery. There's oh my, any kind of handwork you can mimic with embroidery. You can make lace. We're going to talk about a couple different projects today that I think that are really kind of fun. One of them is called an in the hoop project. And there's lots of different things that you can do with an in the hoop project. You can make entire huge quilts with it. You can make little zippered bags. And yes, you're putting in the zipper with the embroidery machine. In other words, you're making a finished project in the embroidery hoop. So we're going to be doing a little wall hanging today and it is finished in the hoop. And I think you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later on. Also, applique by machine kind of needs a little bit of practice when you're doing it on your own to get really nice curves. Well, when the embroidery machine does it, everything is absolutely perfect. So this little wall hanging, it's going to have machine applique on it and it's going to show us where to put the appliques, what size they are. Well, we'll get to that in just a minute. So this is the Baby Lock Vesta and what we're going to do is we're going to do an in the hoop project and the project I've chosen, it's kind of a nice simple one. It gives you a great little project and I thought it would be excellent for if you're a beginner doing an in the hoop project. It's called The Secret Ingredient is Always Love. And what I'm going to do, this makes a little wall hanging, which is great. I'm going to make a wall hanging as we go. But on camera, what we're going to do is I'm going to make this and I'm going to modify it just a little bit. And we're going to make it into a pocket for an apron. I have a great neighbor who every year makes cookies for the neighborhood. And I thought what a great holiday gift for her would be a fun apron where uh, she has, um, you know, the secret ingredient is love. That's what she does. She gives out love when she gives out holiday goodies. So what the cool thing is with embroidery is you can create something that's exactly personalized to whoever you're giving it to. So this is a great little wall hanging. I'm going to use it as a pocket, but I'm going to change the colors to match her environment. I'm going to make her a great little apron and the colors match her a kitchen. She has a baby blue and she has little birds on it. So I'm doing my project the way I want to match her and her environment, which I think is the magic of embroidery. So the supplies that we need are listed in the handout. Also in the handout 
is uh, the directions for making this nice simple apron. It has a fancy hem. Now you don't have to do that, but it's a great way to push your skills and it's done with a decorative stitch on the baby lock Vesta, which is pretty cool. Um, so the supplies that you need are also listed in the uh, project. So you do not have to use this design, but it's a great one to complete this apron the way it is. And you can order this project, go down to the description, the landing page, and uh, there's a place where you can order the product if you want exactly this design. But this will take you through a basic in the hoop project and machine applique, even if you don't want to play with this particular design. So for this design, one thing about uh, in the hoop projects is there's always going to be very detailed instructions about how you're going to stitch this out. So this one, for example, has lots of different instructions uh, to take you step by step through the process. And on the CD that comes with the design, there's also pictures, all kinds of directions to help you through step by step even if you're a beginner. Now at the very, on the handout, uh, at the very end, I want to talk briefly about how you can get the design from the CD into your machine. And it's very detailed instructions on the handout. So if you're new to embroidery, which you might be, um, then it's going to take you through that process. So let's get started. I have gathered my supplies. They're listed on the back of the uh, particular design. So the exact size that I need is listed here. And I've gotten all the supplies that they have requested. And I've cut everything out to go with my In The Hoop project. Now I'm going to go to the machine and I want to show you some things. I pulled in the design wirelessly from my computer to the Vesta. Now you can also transfer it with the USB stick, but I've pulled in the design. Now what happens in an embroidery design when you're doing an in the hoop project or when you're doing applique, what it's going to do, it's going to show you where placement lines are, it's going to show you where the fabric's going to go, and those are all listed as different colors on the stitch out. You may not be stitching them in the color that it shows. Also, I'm going to modify this project. In this project for the wall hanging, what it wants is it wants me to put in some batting. Now, I don't want that for the pocket I'm going to use for the apron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate that step. But let me show you what that would look like. I've already got it started. So these are the colors that I'm going to use for that uh, for the wall hanging, which is the way the design wants to be stitched. And what it does is it gives me the first color I'm going to stitch, and that's going to be the placement line for the backing and for the batting. Now I'm not going to use batting, and the instructions tell you step by step where to place it. So for my pocket, I'm not going to be doing this, but I'm going to stitch this out, and you'll see it at the very end what it looks like, the way they want you to stitch it out. Leave it to me to be a rebel and stitch it a different way. So these are the colors I'm going to use for that. These are the, whoops, these are the colors for my appliques, and you'll see that process in just a minute. So that's how that goes. And for my pocket, I'm just going to leave out that batting part. It's pretty simple. Now I'm going to go to the machine and let me show you what those colors look like. Because we're not necessarily going to use the colors that the embroidery design says. So let's go to the machine. So I pulled in my design wirelessly. So on this machine I go to the pocket and I touch the little indicator that shows wireless. And there's the design that was sent. So all I do is touch that, hit set, and what it's going to do, it's going to bring up that really sweet design on my, on my screen. Now I'm going to stitch it a little bit differently in colors that match my apron that I'm making. So what I do is I hit the color chip and I went through the different processes and I changed the colors. Now here's what I wanted to show you. For an in the hoop project, and what's important is you can see here's the big design, but here's that individual part that that color is going to stitch out. That's the placement line. I can stitch that out in any color I want. Basically, I'm stitching it in the first color that I'm going to do the cross hatching in, and the pattern tells you that. Let me see what the next color looks like. That next color, I don't know if you can see it, it shows it in yellow. I'm not going to stitch it in that color, but that shows me the placement for that uh, first layer of fabric that I'm going to put down that's going to be appliqued. 
there is the final stitch out that goes around that and you'll see that when we stitch it out. I'm not going to stitch it in that color. I'm going to stitch it in a yellow color. This is going to match my fabric and my design. And I can go through the entire process and I can change all the colors to match the colors that I want to stitch to match my fabric. And I've actually done that. So I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring up the design I've already changed that has all the colors that I'm going to use in my design. What's important is you can change all the colors and get ready for your design. Put it in the memory of the machine and you don't have to repeat that process. So I've changed all my colors. I'm going to touch Edit End and I'm going to go to Embroidery. And it wants me to stitch that first color, which is going to be the placement for that fabric and the batting, which I'm not going to do. So let's see what that looks like. So I don't know, you can barely see it. There's that placement line. And I'm going to take my background fabric, which is going to be the border of my little wall hanging, or my pocket, excuse me. And it's going to stitch around and stitch that down. It's going to stitch an interior line also for me to put the center of my design. Can you see how an in the hoop project makes everything perfectly placed? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the machine. I'm going to stitch this down and stitch that interior part and then we'll be right back and you can see how this next part gets stitched down to make it absolutely perfect for my project. I'm going to put it on the machine. I've already put my first color in. I want to make sure my fabric covers that placement line that they've given me. Lower the presser foot and green means go. I'll see you in just a little bit. So I finished up that placement line and I think we got an angle so that you can see both the embroidery field and the machine. So let's see what happened. So hopefully you can see. So here's that placement line for the outside edge and it stitched it down and it gave me a placement line for this inside piece. Now this inside piece is going to be an applique which means it's going to stitch it down. I have to make sure I cover that placement line and then after it stitches down I'm going to come in and I have some quilter select applique scissors and I'm going to trim it close along that stitching line. So you can see that here is this next color. It shows it in green, but obviously I'm stitching it to match my design. And we're going to stitch this. Now I want to show you a cool trick on the machine. I'm going to lower this uh, presser foot and green means go. But here's a fun trick. I want to place it. Now I don't want it to shift on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the start stop button, but I'm going to hold it down and the machine's going to stitch very slowly while it's going so that I can make sure that everything doesn't shift. You can see how it's getting ready to start and now it's going to stitch very slowly as it comes down and I can just make sure that everything is in its proper place. Now when I release that, that button the machine's going to stitch at its uh, speed that I've set which I think is about 800 stitches a minute and you'll see the difference. So I've stitched around the whole thing. Now this is too big and it's meant to be. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to remove the hoop from the machine. I'm going to lay it on a flat surface, trim around. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to be right back. So I'll trim around that and that's the first piece of applique that we're doing. We're going to do that a few more times to get our fancy little pieces. So I'm going to trim this around and I'll be right back once again. So I did that placement stitch and then I trimmed around it. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then on the other piece that I'm doing, I did the first few applique pieces. So I want to take you through that applique process and then I'm going to finish both of them and we'll come back for the big finish. So let's see what I did. So right along the outside of this, this is our first applique piece. But remember it did that placement, then I came in with my scissors, I put it on a flat surface and I just trimmed around. Applique scissors have this big area on the back to help you not cut that background. So now that that's trimmed, I'm going to do the next few colors on this one. But let me show you what, I, what that looks like on this other piece that I've already done. 
and the applique process is pretty much the same. There's a little bit of difference when you use the smaller applique pieces. So the next the next part that it did is it stitched this down and it stitched around and it did this beautiful grid work on the back. Now if I was to do that myself it wouldn't be anywhere near as nice as the embroidery machine had done it. So it did this then it came around and it did this beautiful satin stitch around that outside edge. I used a variegated fabric to match this background and I think it came out pretty nice. Then it does the placement line for the applique. Now to do the applique on the smaller pieces it's just a little bit different and it's one added step that makes it hold together really nice. So this is applique and fuse. It's a product. Put this down for a second. What happens is the uh, pattern shows you how big these applique pieces are going to be. This is going to be the cup in the final product. And on the back you put the fusible um, applique and fuse. You cut a square of it and you iron it onto the back of the fabric. Fabric. Then what you do is you come in after it's secure and you peel off that paper backing. Now this has a sticky back so you can place it over the top of those placement lines. So what you do is you have your placement line, you literally stick it on top of your placement line just like that, making sure you cover that whole placement line. Then the machine comes with the next color and stitches around and I've done the rolling pin so that you can see. It stitches around and then you come in with your mighty applique scissors and you just trim really close to that edge. That's the applique process in embroidery. It's really a three-step process. It gives you the placement, line where you put your applique on the top. It stitches down on the top of that and then you trim it away. And then when you come back in the machine's going to do that beautiful applique stitch to stitch everything down. Now when you're doing a process like this we're going to have the pie. The pie is going to be an applique too but the machine knows exactly when you're supposed to place these appliques. So I'm just going to follow the process. Remember on the on the instructions that come with any in the hoop project and any in the coop applique project it's going to tell you exactly what color do, color does what. So I'm going to finish both of these up and when we come back we're going to do the final uh, stitching around the edge to create the in the hoop project. It's going to stitch everything that's around the edge. We're going to place our fabric, turn it right side out, put in our little loops. It's going to be everything is going to be just perfect and the machine's going to do most of the work. So I'm going to finish both of these, get through all the applique process and I'll see you right back at the end where we're going to make these into our final in the hoop projects. I'll see you real soon. So I've had two embroideries going at the same time. I've been busier than a long-tailed cat on a porch full of rocking chairs, but I think that you're going to see the cool stuff, the difference between the two. Now, I got both of them. This one is pretty much the one I was doing, the, the larger one, and it's ready to, to be finished, but I want to show you briefly uh, what that last color looks like. So here's the here's the last color and basically what it's going to do is it's going to sew the backing on. Now the instructions give you the how that puts it on. It shows you everything, the size of these pieces. You're going to put these on just like this and that's the opening for you to turn it through and you're going to stitch around that outside edge. Now it shows it in black but obviously I'm going to stitch it in the color that matches and this one's already been done so let's take a look at this one and all I have to do is I'm going to tear the stabilizer away and cut the corners so that they turn really really nice. I have my opening. I'm just going to turn it right side out and I have my finished project. Now on this one I didn't put the ribbon loops on the top because I'm going to do something different for her uh, when I give her the little wall hanging for her kitchen. I'm going to give birth to it here. Here you go. And I think you can see this turns out to be a pretty cute project. Now this isn't the right one but on the apron, that's going to be a little bit smaller pocket, 
Isn't that going to be just the most coolest pocket ever? I think I might get an extra batch of cookies. What do you think? So, uh, and in the Hoop Project's pretty neat. This is a quilt that I made. Um, this is all in the hoop. You do the applique, you do the stitching. It makes the individual quilt blocks. It quilts them. And just like this pocket right here, it has them all quilted and then you just put them together and you get the most beautiful embroidered quilt you ever want to see. Now I promised you really quickly I was going to show you how those designs transfer wirelessly. So I brought my computer. Now in the handout it tells you where to get the free program that does this. Uh, this is the design database transfer. Basically you open it up and if I find the design I want, so this is the secret ingredient, small design, PES is the right format for this machine. You click on that, there it is, you click on it, you touch the little arrow to say, yes, I want to transfer that. And you click this button down here and it sends it automatically to the machine. Now I'm right next to the machine here. I could be in the other room planning my project. So pretty cool, right? It's all finished. It's all good to go. I think I need to come up with another design. Maybe I'll make another quilt. Who knows? Well, the Baby Lock Vesta, great machine for doing an in-the-hoop project. Remember, one of the keys to an in-the-hoop project is you want a fairly decent sized hoop to be able to get something a pretty good size. The hoop on the Vesta, six and a quarter by ten and a quarter. I'm going to send it off to George and he's going to tell you a little bit more about the cool Baby Lock Vesta. And I hope you go out and do a lot more applique because it's pretty fun. Thanks, Kathy. Once again, that was a great presentation. Don't forget to click on the link to download Kathy's uh, guide on that incredible project. Um, now, every once in a while, a machine's introduced to the industry that really offers high performance at a great value, and that's the Baby Lock Vesta. Not only is it a great sewing and quilting machine, but it also is an incredible embroidery machine. The embroidery features include a hoop that's larger than 10 by 6, and it has a, a wonderful color touchscreen. And look at this beautiful embroidery. Plus, it removes the jump stitches, and it even has a special uh, software program that sends your design via Wi-Fi right to the machine. Now, that's not all, though. For a sewing machine, it has the automatic fabric sensor that senses fabric from heavy denim to sheer fabric to working with elastic or even uh, a ribbing on a collar like a, a t-shirt knit. But quilting features, it actually will sew in different directions. We have some designs that are incredible for going down the sashing border. It has an automatic quarter inch so you can do your piecing, plus all kinds of wonderful decorative stitches. So as you see, this is an incredible sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. Now, uh, we have a very special buy on this machine, and we're including free shipping across the country, as well as uh, interest-free financing is available. I want to make some, a very special offer for those who are watching Sewing Tech Talk with Kathy, and that is with a mystery bonus. Why is it a mystery bonus? Well, I don't have a lot of them, but I want to make sure those who are contacting me, all you have to do is mention Kathy, our Sewing Tech Talk with Kathy, and I have this bonus value that is incredible. So give us a call at 1-800-865-865. 9664 and discover how easy it is to get an incredible sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. Bye for now.